It has been 10 years since the Open Pool Australian Light Water Reactor first achieved criticality, the moment when it began producing a self-sustaining supply of neutrons. Opal, Australia's only operating multi-purpose research reactor, is a key part of Australia's landmark research infrastructure. Neutrons are essential for science, nuclear medicine and industry, and enable Australia to be a world leader in a number of areas. To celebrate, let's go behind the scenes to meet some of the people who work at Opal today. Highly trained and capable reactor operators and supervising shift managers are responsible for every single activity in and around the reactor. This is an environment in which safety and compliance with nuclear regulations are paramount. The Opal team gets together every day to go over planned tasks and decide priorities. Everyone is fully committed to ensuring the reliability and sustainability of the reactor. Opal, the best reactor of its type in the world, uses only low-enriched uranium to produce neutrons which are useful in analysing materials at the atomic and molecular level. Opal's neutrons are guided along beamlines into state-of-the-art instruments for research. The Opal Reactor provides neutrons to a whole range of neutron scattering instruments here at the Australian Centre for Neutron Scattering. Many of these instruments will be performing scientific experiments um, to help uh, local scientists and international users uh, understand a little bit more about their materials and samples. A less well-known role of the reactor is neutron activation analysis. This highly sensitive technique identifies and measures more than 70 elements from the periodic table. Irradiating samples in the reactor makes elements produce characteristic radiation, which can be analysed for a wide range of scientific research and industrial uses. A big part of Opal's role is to produce nuclear medicine for the accurate diagnosis and treatment of cancer and other diseases and injury. Molybdenum-99, produced by irradiating targets in the reactor pool, decays to technetium-99M, the most common radioisotope used in nuclear medicine. Thousands of Australians benefit from Opal's nuclear medicine every day. If you've had a SPECT or SPECT CT scan, it's likely the nuclear medicines used in the scan originated from Opal. Opal also produces neutrons for the doping of silicon, which is widely used in semiconductors and other high-end electronics. Irradiating silicon with neutrons enhances its conductivity, which makes it useful for industrial applications. None of these activities could take place if the reactor wasn't maintained for optimum performance. In 2016, Opal achieved a record 307 days of power over 12 months and achieved planned availability of almost 100%. Many people helped in reaching this milestone. Reactor physicists and engineers, a fuel specialist, chemists, maintenance staff, technical and logistical support officers, utilisation and operations crews, work safety experts, administrative personnel and a highly experienced and capable management team. Predictive and preventative maintenance, the use of multiple backup systems and defence in depth manages any potential part failures. Facility testing and monitoring of all the equipment and electronics is ongoing. Another large team is looking after safely managing and storing radioactive waste. There is a culture of safety at Opal that ensures everyone at ANSTO is well protected at all times. Workers are carefully monitored for potential but unlikely radiation exposure. ANSTO has an amazing team who are recognised. With this great research reactor, the dedication and professionalism of all the people who work there, the future for science, health and industry in Australia is full of promise. <laughs>